Okay, so I have 60 seconds to say congratulations and come up with some great life advice for you that you can take and carry with you and um, put to use for the entire rest of your life. Um, and that's some bullshit. Fortunately for us, uh, I know how to edit video. Tip number one, always be true to yourself. If you feel like swearing, swear. Um, if swearing's not your thing, don't swear. Don't let anybody else tell you who you should be. Know what feels right to you and follow that. Tip number two, when you're seeking advice, seek advice from people who've been there and done that. Now, their advice may not always be the best advice. You may not always get good advice. But use your instinct. Use your brain. You're a smart kid. You'll know when something is rational or when the advice you're being given is the right path to follow. Tip number three, in the heat of battle or just having an argument with your girlfriend, um, take two, three, four, five seconds to think before you speak. Don't react. If you're going to react, make it an intelligent reaction. Have some thought behind it. Take some time to take a step back, look at the entire picture, and in the whole grand scheme of things that are going on in this world, are the things that you are arguing about really all that important? Or should they be laughed off and moved on? Tip number four, don't be afraid of humility. Don't be afraid to be embarrassed. Don't be afraid to own up to your mistakes. If you made a mistake, own up to it, and then do what you need to do to fix it. 99.99% .99 of the time, people are gonna appreciate the fact that you owned up to the mistake and focus on that more so than the mistake itself in the aftermath of the whole thing. So don't ever be afraid to say, hey guys, sorry, I messed up, but here's what I'm gonna do to fix it. Tip number five, and probably the most important one, don't let people tell you how you should feel or how you should react. Don't let other people or circumstances dictate how you are gonna to react to a situation. You decide how you're gonna to react to a situation. Every day you wake up, you decide to have a good day or a bad day. But either way, you're the one making the decision and your day will lay out as you've decided it will be. So why not decide to have a great day every morning you wake up? An example, one day you're gonna have kids and let's say you're sitting around the breakfast table and one of your kids spills his, his milk all over the floor. Do you decide to get angry about it or do you decide, not a big deal. We're gonna clean this up and we're gonna move on with the rest of our day and you're gonna smile and move on. That's what I'm talking about. So again, don't let anybody or any circumstance decide for you how you're gonna to react to a situation. You decide how you wanna to react to a situation. You decide to wake up in the morning every day and have a good day. Bonus tip, when you're deciding on a career, Choose something that makes you happy. Choose something that you're happy doing day in and day out. Because if you're happy doing what you do for a living, you are never work a day in your life. All right, young man, we're proud of you. Congratulations for graduating high school. Congratulations for moving on to the next step of your life. No matter where you are in the world or where you decide to go, always know that there are people in the world that love you. And always remember that your Aunt Dana and your Uncle Frankie are always here for you. So you can always reach out if you need anything. Cheers, young man.